YouTube. Welcome to another video for Cattails. It's been a while since we last posted a video and I do apologize for that. Um, life has taken us to different ups and downs so it's been a bit different. promise you 2017 would be a lot better year for us. Um, now for those of you who are um, members of our Cattails uh, Fishing Adventures Facebook page, uh, you've been pretty much kept up to date on a lot of things so far. Um, now, for those of you who are not, I recommend, hey, go to Facebook, look for our page, Cat, uh, Cattails Fishing Adventures. Now, what I'm going to do for you today is, I know that I have not been able to show you guys a lot of our rigs and setups um, that we use. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some knot tying uh, as well as, that I use a lot, as well as some of our rigs. So that way, hoping, hoping that it would help better enhance your fishing, uh, your fishing days. And um, so you get a, pretty much get a gist of what we're using and how we use them. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is show you some knots. Um, not going to get fancy with them. Um, not going to do stuff like uh, how we used to do out there on the sea and do like a bimini twist or anything like that. Anything crazy. Just... Plain and simple, something quick that you can do out there on the water, spur of the moment. If you lose a rig, boom, tie it up real quick and be done with it. All right, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the basic clinch knot. All right, now if we are zoomed in, all right, so basic clinch knot, real simple. Tag in through the eye of the whatever you're using, be it either a swivel or any such thing. Come up, go around five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then back through the loop which, with which you created. And tighten down. That is your basic clinch knot simple easy um, a lot of your Walmart tackle boxes with your kits come in them have uh, instructions on how to tie them I know Eagle Claw has with a lot of their hooks on how to tie them with their pre-made already rigged up hooks um, it's just basically so that's just quick and simple that is your basic clinch knot now what I'm going to show you I am now going to show you um, what is the next step for the basic clinch knot, which is the um, improved clinch knot. So, and I will show you now how to improve it. Now, what you do is you take your tag in, go through the eye of the swivel, come up, give you give yourself some nice little bit of tag in, hold one in bring the tag in back down. Now you have what looks like an S. Now with that, holding this, <clears throat> you're going to start wrapping anywhere from three to five times. Two, three, four, five. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the tag in and come back through this loop that you're holding. And pull both tight. Once you pull them both tight, cinch it down, oops, take your pliers, and there you have it, the improved clinch knot. This is actually one of my favorite ones to do um, next to the Palomar knot. Reason why is because it is actually a very, very strong knot. There is nothing that will break that knot. Um, your line I will actually break before this knot does. Uh, especially when you're doing it on, like this right here is 40 pound test line. So, with this 40 pound test line, uh, either your line will break first or your swivel will break first. Uh, preferably, neither one will break for you <laughs> and you can get your fish. Now, the thing with that, is um, 
there's many applications for it. You can utilize it for tying your swivels, uh, tying on your weights, uh, anything of the such. Now what I'm going to do is, oh, also I want to state that as far as your swivels are concerned, your swivels, depending on the type of fishing that you're going to do, you have your basic swivels, your barrel swivels, your snap swivels, um, your locking swivels. If you're going to do cat fishing, I would recommend the heavier duty swivels. Now your swivels are labeled just like your hooks. The lower the number, the stronger the swivel. Uh, all the way down to when you're getting down to your one aughts, two aughts, um, for those that, you don't, that don't know, that's your one slash zero, two slash zero. Now, and those usually, you find a lot of those like at Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops um, for a lot of your saltwater fishing, but now with the, the introduction of bigger catfish in a lot of these uh, different lakes, so you want to go to a bigger swivel, so that way, because what happens is, if you use, like say this right here, this is a, I believe this is a five. Now, with this, what I've had done was I've had, even when you're snagged up, a lot of times when you're trying to pull it out, or if you get a big fish and you're trying to pull on this fish and it's this big tug of war, regardless if you're drag or not, it bends the eye of the swivel and pinches it to the point to where it can become sharp, cut your line, things like that. You don't want those things to happen. So keep those in, keep that in mind when you're shopping for uh, your equipment. You want to make sure that your swivels are appropriate for your lines, things like that, because, I mean, it, it all matters. It makes a big difference in keeping a fish, and catching a fish, keeping it, or losing it. Um, especially with your rigs, you know, it also matters when you're, you know, trying to make sure that you keep your rigs or you have to end up still breaking them off. Now, next uh, knot that I'm going to show you is going to be the Palomar knot. Simple knot. A lot of people have their ways of doing these knots. Um, and, I mean, there's videos galore on all these knot times. Now, I'm not saying that my way is better than anybody else's. I mean, pretty much my way is about as basic and the same as a lot of other people's. It's just being able to get the information out there, whether you've seen it or not. So, this right here next is going to be the Palomar knot. Now, what we do is, here's your tag in. Bend it down. Get yourself a nice little bit amount of, uh, of a bow. Take that loop in stick it through the eye of your swivel or your hook this is great for hooks also and to where you have your your uh, your loop here the rest of your line there now you want to go ahead and put you a nice little another loop or bend or something of such take your loop in and go through twice once twice come down over your swivel or your hook to where it looks like this. Now, all you have to do from here is just pull it tight. And there we go. That is your Palomar knot. Now, and then all you have to do here is cut off the tag end and you're set. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, has been dubbed the strongest knot in fishing. So when you're out there on the lake and you want to make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be, um, to your main line I would do your Palomar knot and then to the other end where your hook is going to go I would do the improved clinch knot that I showed you. That right there is two of the strongest knots that I think would more than do the job for a lot of the stuff that we have here. Now, I am going to go into the different rigs that we use. Rigging is a matter of choice between, you know, what you like or what you don't like or how the fish are, um, if they're biting on the bottom or if they're uh, 
feeding somewhere mid column or just off the bottom it all depends that's what determines your rigs now two of my favorite rigs that I uh, that I love to use is your slip sinker rig or your Carolina rig and your three-way uh, swivel rig now first thing that I'm going to show you is this three-way swivel rig um, we're gonna pause right here for a moment alright so starting to get low on battery so I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible for you guys alright so here we're gonna get three-way swivel rig um, now one of my favorite ways of doing this three-way swivel rig is also known as the breakaway rig that way you can worry about more of with fighting your fish instead of if your weight gets hung up or caught in the rocks or anything you can just pop it right off and still fight your fish um, I know a lot of people don't implement that here um, I think that they should with this you know with as much rocks that we have uh, with the with the dams and um, you know different little places that are very rocky this will come in handy when you're fishing cat fishing if you're not fishing in structure you're not cat fishing so basically this right here is perfect for a lot of your cat fishing uh, abilities fishing in structure so that way if your weight happens to get caught up on something pop the weight right off uh, and you still fight your fish now here I'll show you here's your basic three swivel rig now generally what I'll do is your main line will go here and I'll tie my main line right on with the Palomar knot and I'll do that real quick for you There, let's say this is your main line, straight to your reel. All right. Now, here, actually, here is where your weight will go. Now, for, I'd say for 20 pounds, 20 pound line, I would go with between 6 and 12 pound tests. To be an easy breakaway. Six pounds should be definitely good enough and to offset how I would do that would be get about 24 inches of line. Okay. Double it up. I know it's thin so you might not be able to see it. But once you double it up, take both ends slide them through the bottom end of your three-way swivel rig and tie a regular clinch knot. One, two, three, four, five. Take both ends, stick it through the bottom eye of the loop that you've made. Pull it tight. Now my six pounds has now become 12 pounds test line and still if it gets caught up in anything if it gets caught up in anything it's easy to break away now also and then as far as your the length you can always adjust it if you don't want it this long now lastly what I will do is at the very end I would make a loop which is almost like a Palomar knot you Double it over, take your loop in, come through twice, once, twice, pull tight, and now you have your loop for your weight, which all that is is it slides right through the weight, come around the weight, and pull tight. So here, if you want to pan up, is your three-way swivel rig, main line, 
your swivel, and your weight. Now this right here, as it stands, I have a five ounce weight. This right here, this six pound test line doubled over like this, will cast this five ounce weight without popping it. And then all you have to do is tie on your hook with the basic clinch knot, I mean the improved clinch knot. <laughs> and you're good to go on a three-way swivel rig with the breakaway. Now, real quick, I am going to show you how I snail my hooks. Real simple. You have the quick and easy way, and then you have the long and painful way. Long and painful way is when you have your hooks that have this little bend in it. Now this bend is good for keeping your snell on there, but I would never pass it through the eye and do it the way I'm about to show you, which is I take the line, gives about so much, make a loop, and then wrap it with the tag in about seven or eight times. Now I'm going to cut it short for only seven or eight times, but just to show you, and then you just pull it tight. And that would be pretty much how you snow the hook. That's just with three wraps around it. Now we're going to go and do another way, which I will give all credit to Steve Douglas and one of his hosts from a fishing show. I love how he explained it. I love the idea and principles behind it. Um, main thing. First thing you're going to do is when you hold the hook, you're going to take your tag in and go towards the back end. And lay it flat directly on the back end of the hook. I'm going to need some line. Okay, cut that. Once you've done that, now you just simply start wrapping. I like to do say 10 wraps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, you don't have to do as many. For me, that's just um, a surety and security for that. Now, what you do is you take the other end of it uh, and you go back through the eye and pull tight. And there uh, is a perfect, simple, quick hook snelling beautiful quick hook snelling and just get your tag in off now some people don't like it because if for chance your knot was a slide forward everything comes unraveled um, but I mean when you get in there and you pull it tight that's it it's stuck it's done it's in there now the other best part about that is once you do so, you know, for your lighter hooks, it's going to go and it's going to pop forward and that's what you want because when you go across, you see how it comes into my skin. That's what you want. Circle hooks. Perfect for circle hooks because that comes and goes right across into that fish's mouth and it's in there. That's the, that's what you want by starting it and doing it the way I just showed you as opposed to if you did it the opposite way now you're not going to have that that grabbing ability so with that in, with that in mind that the three-way swivel rig the three-way swivel rig and the Carolina rig with the no roll sinkers are two of my favorites that I use a lot um, a lot of people state that before you put your 
swivel on that you want to put a bead on there uh, in front of your um, your no row sinker I'm like this I can put a bead on there now these beads come from a lot of your packs like this right here for your sliding bobbers and I mean you can buy just regular beads to go uh, I mean there's separate separate bead packs that you can do for that as well uh, to protect your knots for your no rolls that hole I don't believe I've never had a problem with this destroying or hurting my knots um, it, the holes are too small for one um, another thing is if you end up casting too hard or you set the hook on a, like you know if you're using a J hook and you set the hook hard on a fish or anything you know of such that bead is going to break it's just going to crack right in half and break and you're not going to have it so what's you know to me it's just that's just the added extra waste of money when you don't really need it now some people live by it me personally you tie good enough knot you're not going to have to worry about it Palomar knot, improved clinch knot, those two right there, time honored, year after year has always worked, has never failed me. So, you know, these are the things that I want to impart upon you so that way hopefully uh, you, you can also have a better fishing experience. So, before my battery dies, I am going to thank you all for watching, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos hopefully for if not this year we are in december um january and february definitely is going to start popping off on a better fishing adventure for us um and i also want you to stay tuned you know that i have this fiber dip base that i've been trying to develop um i have one to where i am trying to see if i can get it to where it's going to give you the freshwater catfish grand slam i mean that's channel cats blue cats flatheads flathead catfish on a fiber dip bait. This is what I'm working on. So be sure to stay tuned for especially that and wish me luck. Hopefully it'll work. Take care.